We've got a couple of absolute legends starting off the episode, buying some merch. You absolutely love to see it. Shout out to these two guys. That's a nice looking mug. That's a nice looking t-shirt. Also, shout out to the guys over at Hockey DB, the official guys at Hockey DB. They're watching the videos. They went ahead and copped a mug. Shout out to Jason, hashtag chubby for heart. If you want to get some merch and be featured in the video, link in the description. Let's go. Chubby is such a classy guy, taking a huge pay cut to help the team achieve great things. What a, wait for it, wait for it, what a legend! What's going on guys, and welcome back to your Saskatchewan Stags. We're starting off year number six. That is right, the sixth year of this wonderful franchise, and it's about time we win a damn Stanley Cup. What do you say? We're starting off the year seven, two, and one, and the boys are buzzing. Multiple players, well over a point per game. Everyone is producing at a very high level right now. We've scored eight or nine goals, like two or three three times already and we're only like 10 games into the regular season so the boys are definitely buzzing now there's something I wanted to check out Sujimoto there was a comment a few episodes ago and he's right he had 50 power play points I thought this guy was trolling me I don't remember the comment I remember scrolling through it and I thought there's no way Sujimoto had 50 power play points and he did that's uh, wow that's incredible is that an NHL record maybe Gretzky's probably got some crazy power play point record if you guys can let me know in the comments uh, if that's an NHL record or not. 50 power play points, that is a ton. Now, if you missed the last episode from the official Stags Twitter, we sent out a tweet that said, Breaking news, Dougie Hamilton has been traded to Montreal. Details to follow. And some of the reactions were a little bit shocking, but I think once everyone saw the return we got for Dougie Hamilton and what we, and what we replaced him with, I think everyone's pretty damn happy with how uh, we came out here. So we traded Dougie Hamilton, obviously, to the Montreal Canadiens. He's going to hang out with everyone's favorite guy. Can I get some positive love in the comments for Adam Larson? How are you? What a nice dude. Uh, he's 86 overall, still making 7.1 milli. And how is he doing over there in Montreal? Nine points in 10 games? Like, you can't hate on that. Good luck, Dougie. You're a Saskatchewan stag at heart forever. Uh, unfortunately, we could not get you that Stanley Cup ring. Good luck in Montreal. Now, we got their first. We also got Tampa Bay's first, and we got a center prospect, and I forget his name. We ended up getting two firsts and a pretty decent prospect here, Norm Clarkson, who's actually a point per game in the AHL, which is awesome. So we got a few things to do in this video, but mostly we're just going to get a bunch of simulation done. And once we get into the simulation, we are going to run into teams like St. Louis and like the Detroit Red Wings, who are 7-0, by the way. So let's go to a comment here from Riley. He discusses the St. Louis Blues and the Saskatchewan Stags rivalry. This guy goes in depth. Riley says, here's the Blues versus Stags. The Stags are 10-4-0 against the Blues. One win came in overtime. One win came a shootout. All losses were in regulation. At home, the Stags are 5-2, and two, and away, the Stags are also 5-2 and two against the St. Louis Blues. The Stags in 14 games have scored 52 goals, while the Blues have only scored 37. Yikes! Sucks to suck! The greatest game of the two rivals came on November 29th, 2021, when the Saskatchewan Stags defeated the St. Louis Blues in the Scottsdale Center 8-5. And recently, Big Germ Jeremy Tamlin posted his first shutout of the rivalry, stopping all 31 shots in a 3-0 away victory on January 23rd, 2023. Riley, you are the MVP of of the episode. What a comment. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Thank you for going so in depth. That's awesome. So we got a nice little record here uh, against the St. Louis Blues of 10 and 4. We're definitely going to keep that thing going. And then moving over to the Detroit Red Wings. Honestly, man, that comment was just the best thing ever. Going so in depth with it. I, I love that. Uh, moving over to the Detroit Red Wings here. Hockey Nation. He goes 8 points for Nika Solani on Detroit and 4 points for Gucci against Nika Solani. So hopefully in this episode, uh, Aguchi can step it up a little bit. I'd like to evenly match Nika Solani, even though he's got 15 goals in his first 10 games. The guy is on a freaking tear of the National Hockey League. So again, this is kind of the same thing as last year where we don't really have a lot to do. We kind of have one goal and one goal only, and that is to win the Stanley Cup. Come on, boys. We need to start it off here. Start off the dynasty 
60. We're all ready to go. We got 50 goal players. Valerie Chubby Chubasov, who's got eight goals in 10 games. The guy's a freak in nature. We are all good to go. I don't think this one's going to be a super long video, but uh, start it off here. Hopefully we can start off with a big win against the 3-7-0 Minnesota Wild. There's a 6-2 performance. Another six goal outing by your Saskatchewan Stag. In the postseason, we actually took these guys to school. Oh my god. We kicked the absolute living shit out of the Minnesota Wild. 10-3. Starting off the season, we put up five goals. A couple nights later, nine. A couple nights after that, seven. A couple nights after that, nine. And then we got shelled seven to one. But then six, seven, six, six, and then only putting up two. But I mean, when we win, we do it in style. We do it in style. So let's go here up against Michael Dow goal, the 83 overall Michael Dow goal. Yikes, not on my hockey team, that's for sure. Hopefully Big Mac's gonna take over the starting role sooner than later, but let's go first period. We got four goals in the first. Adam Boquist and Hiro Yuki starting it off. We're being outshot like crazy, but uh, J Money, the original J Money. If anyone can remember which franchise mode Josh Morrissey was from, AKA every single franchise mode I've ever done. I love getting this guy. And then Frankie Vetrano, all right, period number two. We need a strong second, zero, zero. We've cut the shots a little bit more respectable, even though we're still being outshot. Five on three, 50 power play points last year, and Sujimoto can't find the back of the net on a five on three. Come on, are we going into overtime? Maybe a shootout? No, I jinxed it. The X-Tech curse, the X-Tech jinx is real. Oh wait, Anthony Sorelli comes right back. Killer, there's that depth scoring baby, but Capo Caco comes right back on Big Germ. Holy, what a wild four minutes there. Jesus, three goals in the last four minutes. Are we going into a shootout? Please go into a shootout. I'd love to intervene on this one. This one could be fun. Oh baby, we're going to a shootout. A classic matchup with our playoff rivals, the Winnipeg Jets, our next door neighbors. I want to see a nasty goal. I want to see Hiroyuki go between the legs. I want to see Aguchi with the one hand, Peter Forsberg. Let's start off with a nasty goal, but not from Patrick Laine. What a snapshot. Holy Sujimoto. Come on, baby. Through the legs. Oh, little one, two. Ooh, just shoots it seven feet wide. Not a great look. All right, we got Capo Caco, the third liner his whole life, and he just runs right into Big Germ. Easy, easy stops. Come on, Hiroyuki. He's been hot the entire year so far. Takes it wide, and what are you doing? What was that, Hiroyuki? Come on, Big Germ. I need a save here. I need a save. And oh, Nikolai Ehlers picks the corner, and we drop this game against the Winnipeg Jets. That's a yikes. Not looking very good in the extra frame, boys. Not that good. All right, we're 8 2 and 2 to start off the year. That was a rough loss in the shootout, even though we did get the extra point. The big kid from Edmonton for Jake Muzzin. What are you talking about? Get out of here. Absolutely not happening. Reject. That's four of our last five that we've dropped, boys. Come on here. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Rebound with a big old 6-2 victory against the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. we got the Rangers, and then we're probably going to slow in the game against the Hawks just for fun. 10-6-1. Uh, and one. Hopefully I stopped it in time. There you go. All right, let's go. We are in the United Center. Chicago, the madhouse on Madison. Let's go. Not, a, not an easy arena to play in, but if we want to go all the way to the Stanley Cup Final this year, we are going to need to face some tougher rinks and this is one of the toughest period number one and it's 2-1 all right kills Akin and Brendan don't be sawed 20 20 speaking of 20 20 shots in the first period oh man poor big germ Aguchi scores but uh, come on guys we need to shoot some more pucks here on this Rosano guy I have no idea who he is period number two three two there you go chubby and Sorelli couple of my favorite dudes we even up the shots only got eight shots in that entire period Boquist with the go ahead goal sorry with the 4-2 that's the insurance marker goal baby Boquist has been scoring a decent amount lately 39 shots that should be enough to get it done power play make it five baby make it five five looks way better than four 
and I think it's going to end. Oh, never mind. Chubby, he says, all right, coach, I got you. Don't worry, man. There's your fifth goal. Chubby with the empty netter. That's one closer to 50. You know what? I'm going to say it right here. If Chubby hits 50 goals this year, I will give away a Stags t-shirt to one of you guys in the comments. It's not going to be for this video because we're not going to get the entire thing done, but it's probably, probably going to go up to the trade deadline, and then in the next video, if he hits 50 or not, and then I will go ahead and give away a free t-shirt to one of you guys. So let's go continue on with the sim. No real important games here. After losing four of our last five, we bounce back with a big old four game winning streak. We are now 12, four and two. I just think this year we're just so, we're so poised. We're so ready to go on a giant Stanley Cup run. Eight to five against the Edmonton Oilers. That's what I'm talking about. That's five in a row. Make it six. Boom, I love six. How about seven against that big old bastard Boris Yakupov? Boom, there you go. The boys are buzzing. 15, four and two. We are on fire. Can we keep it going against the Avs? Of course, the scout, which I don't have. Why are you talking to me? The Avs should be easy picking and we get pumped seven to two. That's a big yikes, boys. But then we bounce back with a big old six to two victory. Classic stags, classic stags. But uh, not bad. We went on a big old streak there. That was four. Went on a big old seven game win streak before the Colorado Avalanche fed us our lunch. Uh, but 16, five and two after the first month and a half. Let's see how the boys are doing. Sujimoto still killing it there. 36 points in 23 games. But if Chubbs can hit 50 goals, I'll give away a t-shirt. How about every single year? Oh my god, he might hit 50 goals in this episode. He's got 18 in 23. The guy's almost a goal per game. That's incredible. How about every time Chubby hits 50 goals, I'll give away a, a piece of merch. So every single year, I'll just do it. If he scores 50 every single year, boom, that's a free t-shirt or a free coffee mug or whatever for one of you guys. But uh, Aguchi, Sujimoto, and Chubbs, how are ya? Uh, Hiroyuki, all over 30 points. That's incredible. Kyle Connor with 28. Braden Shen with 27, even though he's on the third line. Hey, man, that's fine. Uh, Adam Boquist with 27. Justin Falk, almost a point-per-game player. Vinny Henestrosa playing like a $3 million guy, that's for sure. 14 points in 23 games. Exact same thing with Anthony Sorelli. Now, Perfetti's only got 13. I mean... Um, yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. it's okay. Um, could be a lot better. I'm hoping for him to be around the 17, 18 point mark, but hey, it's okay. It's still pretty early on in the year. Tyler Benson with 10 points. Like a fourth liner almost has as, as many points as our second line center. And I know it's not the wingers on that line because Chubbs and Kyle Connor are like a match made in heaven. Uh, but that's all right. I'm not going to push the panic button. Everyone's got a goal. Yeah, you love to see it. Troy Stetcher's got four points. Hayden Fleury's only got four points. That's interesting. Okay, uh, Colton Sissons. But again, we're not too worried about points. We're just worried about getting that Stanley Cup ring, baby. We have no rookies on the squad. Uh, Big Germ is 15 and 3. Let me repeat that. Big Germ is 15 and 3. Vesna Trophy, baby. That's my goalie on my hockey team. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll have a quick look here at, um, oh, first place, baby, number one. Uh, we'll have a quick look at um, Sneka Solani. Oh my God, he has 30 goals in 23 games. Jesus Christmas. No one even, aside from Oscar Gordon Lee, no one else even has 20. Holy, uh, yeah. Pretty good at hockey. Not a bad hockey player. He'd probably be the best player on my beer league team. Probably. I mean, I wouldn't mind having Nika Solani as my centerman. I definitely wouldn't want Oscar Gormley, though. That guy, that guy is very similar to Felix Pox. Has a bit of a stink issue going on. I think me and Nika Solani on the same line together. That'd be all right. And the rookie from Pittsburgh is almost a point per game as well. So uh, interesting stuff around the National Hockey League. I'd like to take some more time and just have a look around the entire NHL. Uh, maybe after the next couple months, we'll do a quick little glance over, see how everyone's producing. Um, we want to check out Montreal. So they're 8-12. and 12. Not a great record. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a lottery pick. That'd be pretty dope, though. And then Tampa Bay is 14 
13 and 7. So we know they're going to be good. Um, I thought Montreal was going to be good as well, but I guess they're kind of struggling out of the gate here. Um, so Tampa's first for Nate Schmidt. So we could basically replace uh, Nathan Beaulieu with Nate Schmidt, and that would really help solidify our bottom pairing defense. Now, if we are going to make a move, I think that's something I am going to do. I'm not super attached to Nathan Beaulieu, so I'm not really too worried about it. But maybe getting like someone who is way too good for the uh, third pairing. Not saying Nate Schmidt is, but I mean, we could get someone like him just to replace Nathan Beaulieu, maybe for our playoff run. So that's something I can think about. I'm not super set on that. Uh, that's the, really the only weak part of our team, and I only signed someone for so cheap because we only had a very because we only had a very little amount of cap. But let's go up here. The first game, the return of Douglas Hamilton, Dougie. Welcome back to Saskatchewan. We got a nice little uh, nice little video for you before you step on the ice, and of course the return of Adam Larson, everyone's favorite guy. Did you get a haircut, Adam Larson? Honestly, man, you're looking good. That's a good looking Swede right there. Thanks for a Gucci bag the way period number one and it's two one all right panic Kuhlman and Hayden Fleury there you go again being out shot in the first period like crazy we started our backup that's fine I need I need our backup here I need Mackenzie Blackwood to start getting some W's because he's one and three on the year so let's make that two and three here boys period number two all right still nothing on the goal so oh my god Kuhlman that bastard that franchise that franchise guy but Vinny Henestrosa he comes right back Back, cutting the lead to one. Come on, guys. I know we're being outshot like crazy. And Ghost, we were looking at him in free agency for a quick second. And he says, you should have signed me. You should have signed me. But, of course, a good thing. Dougie Hamilton did not score. But Mackenzie Blackwood continues to struggle. So maybe that's something we should look at. Uh, that should be a team we should easily beat. And that's losses in back-to-back -back games. You absolutely hate to see it. So we got a 10-4-0 record against the St. Louis Blues. We're looking to improve that here on the 12th after we get the Ducks done. There's a big old bounce back victory. And then Tampa, 16-9-3. They got a pretty good record, but nothing for the Stags, baby. 14-10-4 uh, for the Stanley Cup champion St. Louis Blues. Let's make this record 11-4-0 against the Blues. Let's go. Game number one against our expansion nemesis. Here we go. Period number one. All right, 1-1. One, one. Tarasenko and Sujimoto. The stars are out. Period number two. Two. All right, 2-2, two, two. Killer and David Perron. David Perron still in the league. Got to be pushing 40 now. Uh, shots are pretty even here. Come on, guys. I need an epic game. I need Riley to write out another epic comment for our next St. Louis Blues comment. Come on. We're out shooting them. Are we going to go into OT? Maybe a shootout? What's going on here? All right, we're going into OT. Let's go. Now, remember... The sliders are crazy. You're going to see offsides. You're going to see crazy shots. You're going to see players come in, probably just snipe one here. Adam Boquas over to Sujimoto. But what a save by Jordan Bington. Look how giant Artendi is. He just looks like looks like he takes up the entire net. That one rings off the post. Sujimoto gets that puck right off the post. He's going to beat whoever that is. And what a shot. What a goal. Riley, write your comment. Give me an epic comment. That's what I'm talking about. What a goal from Hiro Yuki. That one rang right off the post, came right to him. He comes down and just rips that one. There you go, St. Louis. Make that 11 Four and oh, oh man, that was Petrangelo he burned too. What a perfect shot. What a beautiful, beautiful shot. You could watch this all day. Bing! No chance, Jordan Bington. Take your Stanley Cup and shove it up your... What? Out of all the things I love, I love beating the St. Louis Blues more than anything in the entire world. 42 points in 29 games for Sujimoto. How you doing? Thanks for coming out. What a beauty. Now, we're going up against the Detroit Red Wings. Now, if we go back to that comment, 8 points for Nika Solani and 4 points for Aguchi. So, let's see how many goals that freak of nature created in a lab. This guy's definitely not human. He's got 38 goals in 29 games. We could see our first 100-goal guy. Ever in any franchise mode. I've never seen a player get over 100 goals. I know Agency had 83, I think, was his highest that I've personally ever had on my team. I know Oscar Gormley had 84 or something last year. So, I mean, either one of those guys, they could have over 80 goals easily. Could be 90. Could we see 100? 
Oh, man. We are in the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Let's go, period, number one. Hopefully, we can keep that genetically modified, made-in-a-lab, robot, freaking nature, whatever he is, Nika Salani, off the score sheet. Let's go, first period. And 3-2, lots of goals. Aguchi, there you go. Make a five points for the kid. Five goals in the first. Aguchi, Sorelli, Kyle Connor, Dylan Larkin, and Sveshnikov. All right, period number two. All right. Right, baby, six to two. Hayden Fleury, Colton Sissons, and Hiro Yuki. Take that, Nika Solani. All right, Josh uh, Lawrence, he gets one, or whatever his name is. Chubby makes it seven. Chubby makes it eight. Can Chubby make it nine for a hat trick? Oh, baby, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What a night. What a night. Take that, Detroit. Suji Moto, nine. I want to see ten. I want to see ten on the board. Chubby needs that hat trick. Pull the goalie. Do it. You know you want to, Detroit. All right, I guess I'll settle for just a measly nine goal performance. Now, haven't we beat Detroit 9-3 like three separate times? I'm pretty sure we have beat them 9-3 a couple times. Can someone go back and check that out? Because I'm pretty damn sure. And would you look at that? Look at that. Not a single point for the genetically modified robot, Nika Solani. Can I, can I get a P test for this guy? I don't know if this guy's human or not. Is he even allowed to play in the NHL? Chubby had four. Kyle Connor had four. The best bromance you've ever seen in your entire life. Braden Shen had four. The, the captain on the third line. Aguchi had three. Make that seven points for Aguchi and eight points for Nika Solani. Oh, baby, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. What a night for the fellas. Please have more games against Detroit. Can we switch conferences so we play the Wings more? Okay, we have one more game against the Wings on the 25th. So if we want to get that done in this video, we better get some simulation done. Because I don't want this one to be super long. The past couple videos have been over like 40 minutes. I know there's some viewers who like uh, in the middle kind of thing, like uh, maybe 20 to 35 minute video. And I know there's guys, freaks out there who like a two hour long episode. So I'm trying to cater to everyone here. That's a big seven to six win against Agent C and Ovechkin. 25-8-2. The boys are buzzing. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. We are on fire. Our HL team, however, not doing that great. 15-17-4. Generally, they're pretty good, but they seem to be struggling this year. 6-2 win against Oscar Gormley and the Florida Panthers. Now we got a couple days off. Ottawa and then we're going to face Calgary, which, which we will slow sim that game. And then maybe after this month, We'll do a look around the NHL, a quick one, get another month done. I know we can kind of speed run this. And then after that, we can check out the entire NHL because that game against the Wings is what, next month? Yeah, on the 25th. So we can definitely go ahead and get to at least that Detroit game. But up against the Calgary Flames, they kicked us out of the postseason a couple years ago in the conference finals. We've been pretty good with them in the regular season. We've beat them quite a few times. But here we go. In the Saddle Dome, the arena that's shaped like a chip, and Tyler Benson, the playoff hero. He goes, remember me? There you go. Scores a big goal on the Calgary Flames, putting us up by one, period number two, but they say, yeah, remember us? Backland, Goudreau, Monaghan going into the third, they make it 4-2. Kyle Connor gets one, and Johnny Goudreau with the empty netter. You hate to see it. You don't like to see that. Not even one bit. I'm not a fan. I would like to have a look at some other players, like the guy from Nashville, Boris Yakupov, that freak. Honestly, I would love to get him. I just don't think it's ever going to happen because we are going to have to keep our three Japanese guys. We're going to have to pay them a ton of money. We've lost four in a row, five in a row. Don't push the panic button. Don't make it six, though. You cannot make it six. Yikes, boys. We've lost six in a row. Come on here. This is not March. This is January. We can't be playing like this right now. We cannot be falling apart. No, 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 no. I can't even finish my sentence either. Come on, there you go. We snap the losing streak, thank God. And then we're gonna go on a big old win streak. 10 straight, let's do it. Starting off with three, we can't hate it. 31, 14, and three. But like I was saying, uh, Eric Gustafson, six years at three million bucks. Honestly, it's probably not even that bad of a contract. Uh, considering he's probably 84, 85 overall, it's a pretty good contract actually. Um, three, that's like a, kind of like a chubby contract. Obviously not quite as good, but 3.5 for six years, it's a pretty damn good deal. 
Uh, we're not going to trade. I mean, this might not be a bad kind of thing to strengthen up our bottom pairing defenseman, but he's better than a bottom pairing guy. Um, we'll have to hold off on this right now. But again, I'm going to stop this video before the trade deadline. So if anything does catch our eye that maybe we should do, we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. But all right, let's quickly have a look around the NHL, quickly see how our guys are doing. 69 points. Suji Moto closing in on 70 before hitting 50 games. You love to see it. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Chubbs has 30 goals in 49 games. I can pretty much guarantee someone's getting a t-shirt, that's for sure. Uh, Hiroyuki's got 67. Gucci's got 63. Chubbs over a point per game. Kyle Connor a point per game. Boquist a point per game. Braden Shen almost, you guessed it, a point per game. And then it kind of falls off a little bit there. Where is Cole Perfetti? Only 22 points. What is going on? I mean, he should be lighting it up, should he not? Maybe I should put Braden Shen back up on the second line? Like, what? Really? Is he really struggling that much? Like, Braden Shen's got 47 points. Oh, it's the power play. That's probably why. That just clicked. He's probably getting power play time where Cole Perfetti isn't. That's right, that's right. Well, maybe not, actually. I'll check, I'll check here. So, leading the league in goals is Oscar Gormley with 64 in 49. Nika Solani slowed down, he's only got 50 in 49. Uh, Tarasenko's got 42 and almost 50. That's crazy, some crazy point totals are going on right now. Philip Zadina, what, he's got 81 points? Who, why are you so good? Jesus, that is ridiculous. Um, yeah, you're going to see some crazy numbers here. You're going to see a lot of points being scored. Okay, interesting. I mean, should we bring up Braden Shen once again to the, to the second line? Like, we did lose quite a few in a row there, but I don't want to underplay Profetti. Maybe it's the power play? Let's check out the power play here. Hiroyuki, yeah, Braden Shen's getting power play time, so that's where the points are coming from. So what if I switched him with Cole Profetti? see if we struggle or if, or if we continue to really kill it um but i think that's maybe why his points are a little bit down so i'm not going to push the panic button i'm hoping that profetti can be the legitimate second line center of the future i want to have like a insane pairing i got our wingers down our wingers are totally fine they're the best of friends they're going to put up four points a night there's no problem there it's just finding that perfect piece down the middle that's the difficult part uh, up against nashville five to one that's three in a row after having having not a great January. Hopefully we can uh, have a much better February and we're 4-0 and in the beautiful month of February. Uh, a first for Nudavara. So we can easily shop one of those firsts to get a better bottom pairing guy. Now, Nudavara is pretty good, although he is definitely overpaid. I like the Gustafsson deal. I like, I like the other offer that we had earlier on in the episode, who I completely forget who it was even for now. I'm the worst. Short-term memory loss guy over here. Uh, but that's five straight since starting this beautiful month of February. Right here we go. Oh, baby, make it six in a row. You love to see it. Make it seven. Can we hit a record this year for our winning streak? We've had seven twice, and there's eight. A one. Nothing overtime win. That's a battle right there. Defensive battle. Can we make it nine for fun against the Ducks? Uh, not trading those two for a couple of picks. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. Anaheim, why you got to ruin it? Why do you guys got to be? like that come on up against Tampa and another loss so we win nine we lose two it's not a bad trade-off uh, the Montreal Canadiens are struggling and we have their first round pick they're 23 29 and 7 so hashtag lottery pick you love to see it now we are 11 and 4 against the Blues can we make it 12 and 4 I like 12 and 4 a lot better than 11 and 4 let's do it add to that epic comment from Riley for the next episode period number one and it's 2-1 all right Sujimoto and guess who baby chubby Ryan O'Reilly we started Mackenzie Blackwood okay and I'm gonna give you a second here maybe you can point out something kind of interesting that happened with this Sujimoto goal yeah it was from center ice 
Jordan Bennington, you may be caught sleeping there, bud. Seven seconds left. He's like, oh, there's no way they're going to score. Boom. Top shelf. Rocket. Nick Lidstrom style. P.K. Subban style from the center ice. Obviously, both those goals were against the Canucks. We're not going to talk about it. Period number two. All right. They come storming right back. Former Saskatchewan stag Michael Kempney. He scores on Mackenzie Blackwood. Brian Little gets the go-ahead goal. Yikes. Not a great showing here, guys. We're being outshot like crazy, but all it takes is one. All it takes is one, and not what I'm talking about. Not from Tarasenko. But if any team can come back with two and eight minutes, it's us. If any team can do it, it's us. And unfortunately, it's not going to be us tonight. Honestly, we've been crushing the Blues lately. We can let them have one, just one. But more importantly, we got a game against the Wings where Gucci has seven points and the Detroit Red Wings genetically made in the lab superstar Solani has eight. So if we have a big night here, we are historically pretty damn good against the Detroit Red Wings. Even though they're a very good team, we seem to have their number. Let's see if Gucci can overtake Solani for the point lead throughout this little rivalry we got going on. It's just the start, baby. We got 20 years of this. Let's go. Period. Number one. And it's five to one. Why do you suck, Detroit? That's five goals on 17 shots. We have the Wings number. And guess who's got two in the first, baby? Aguchi. There you go. Hiroyuki. Sissons. Chubby. How are ya? Nika Solani scored instantly. And then Chubby's like 30 seconds later. Yeah, you're not that great, bud. Boom. Big goal. Sissons. Boom. Aguchi. Boom. Aguchi takes over the point lead. And then Hiroyuki, just for good measure. And we're only in the first going into the second period. All right, they get two of their own. Nika Solani, I think he ties up the point lead there. All right, interesting, interesting. This could be a wild one here. Hiroyuki makes it 6-3. to three. I think that's too little. Oh, wait, wait. We got 10 goals in this game. It's a wild one. Boom, Anthony Sorelli. Both goalies are still in. Power play, make it 8. Kyle Connor. Can we put up another nine spot? <laughs> there it is. Colton Sissons. You love to see it. Can we make it 10? No, Nika Solani. Nine to five. What is this, your day job? Holy, what a game. Why do we always put up nine goals against the Wings? That's four times, I think. That's crazy. All right, now let's compare the points. Of course, Nika Solani had four. That's not good for us. So he's got 12. That sucks. Uh, but I think Aguchi had a big night as well. Aguchi had just the two. Okay, that's... I thought he would have had more, but I guess it's okay. We got the win in the end. 11 for Solani. He obviously had a big night. And then, obviously, we now have 9 for Aguchi. So, that's just crazy. Like, I can't believe that we always put up 9 against the Wings. That's just so weird. We have their number for some reason. It's crazy. All right, we got Boston, we got Pittsburgh, and then we're going to end off this video with a little look around the National Hockey League. I wish we could play Detroit every single night. We just seem to put up numbers against those guys. 7-2 loss against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, the rule is you can't leave on a heater, but the rule is you can't leave after getting destroyed, but there is an asterisk behind that simply because we have the trade deadline, and I don't want to skip over that. So next episode, we will get into, hopefully, continuing on with the wins, but 91 points for Suji Moto. Oh, my God. All right, so here's a fun little game. All right, here's a game. Here's to get everyone involved, all right? So if you can guess how many points uh, Sujimoto is going to actually, Sujimoto and Hiroyuki, guess how many points they're going to end with, because they're pretty damn close, and guess how many goals Chubby is going to get. We have 19 games left in the regular season. Chubby needs 10 goals to hit 50. Can he do it? Let me know in the comments. But imagine paying a guy $3.9 million for 50 50 goals a year. Just imagine that. Imagine like you go to the grocery store. You get a quarter of a cart. You're like, yeah, that's what I paid for. Damn, that's all I'm going to get. Three apples, a bag of chips, two bananas. Damn, that's it. But then Chubby rolls along. He's like, I'm getting this entire cart. I'm buying your cart, your cart, and your cart. And I'm only going to pay this much. So you see what you get when you roll with Chubby? You get way more than what you pay for. What a monster. 89 overall, and he's getting paid 3.9. That is robbery. I feel so bad for him. 
Poor guy. Um, Aguchi, 80 points. Hiroyuki with 90. Sujimoto with 91. But Chubby, can he hit 50? The hunt is on for back-to-back years. Kyle Connor over a point per game. Adam Boquist, maybe another Norris, is up to a 90 overall. Chicago, you guys screwed up big time. Uh, Braden Shen with 52. Justin Falk with 42. Sorelli with 38. So, like, Colton Sissons is our fourth-line center. Okay, and he has more points than our second line center. Why? Why is this? Why? Like, look at his puck skills. 99, 98, 96, 96. How is he not producing more? 91 offensive awareness. Like, what is it with this guy, man? All right. Well, again, we're winning games. I'm not going to press the panic button. I say that a lot, but I like him to produce a little bit more. Uh, five and eight for Mackenzie Blackwood. That's not great, but 36 and 12 for Big Germ. All right. So I'm going to guess Nika Solani has 56 goals. Or no, he's going to have more than that, actually. We're what? We're 50 something games in. I think he's going to have 63. Five, all right, 65. That's my guess. That's my guess. And he's got 66. Damn, this guy. But friggin' Oscar Gormley has 77 goals. Are you joking me? How? How? How is this humanly possible? He's gonna hit a hundo. Oh my god, that's crazy. Um, I was one goal off of my guess, but there is some ridiculous amounts of goals being scored. Cedric Corey, how are you, bud? Uh, but look at this guy. Let's just have a quick look here. Tyler Sagan, what do you make per year? 9.85. Cedric Corey, 12.7. Tarasenko, 10.2. Nathan McKinnon, 14.1. Kuhleman, 12.2. And you look at Chubby, just a casual 3.9 million. Love to see it. Philip Zadina with 100 points, so that's just crazy. Mantha, Zadina, and Nika Salani. Best line in hockey? Pretty damn close between Sujimoto, Aguchi, and Hiroyuki, but wow, crazy. Ron Tierney. I, f I always want to call him Russ for some reason. I'm just going to call him Russ from here on out. Russ Tierney. He's got 69 nice points in 63 games. Now let's have a look at some familiar faces around the National Hockey League. Starting off with Agency. Obviously, we know how he's doing. He's got 80 points. That's awesome. Um, and where is Mr. Alex Ovechkin? Uh, Ovi's gone. Ovi is away. What? Where'd Ovi go? I guess he moved on from the Coyotes because I saw he was up here. Uh, he went to Columbus. Okay, maybe there's a trade. So we'll have a look at the trades in a second. But all right, so he's no longer with agency. I mean, I hate to see it. Here's Quinton Byfield, the guy we could have had. Uh, he seems to be struggling as well. So maybe, maybe it's something to do with that draft class. I don't know. I'm in the guessing mood. Let's guess for uh, Boris Yakupov. Let's say 26 goals. I don't know, just throwing it out. He's got 32 and 6. What a freak. Drew Ann seems to be loving his new home. I guess his new old home, the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's got 86 points in 63 games. That's crazy. Here's the Leafs. I know all you guys are going to want to look at that. We're going to move on real quick. Ooh, Brock Besser, how are you? EP, Calder Trophy winner, how are you? Bobby Lemieux, 60 points in 62 games. I think we are the front runner for the Norris right now, unless... Drew Doughty's putting up a stupid amount of points, but, oh man, it's going to be close. We got Carlson, Lemieux, and Boquist. It's going to be a tight one. Right now, Adam Boquist has the best plus minus out of everyone. He's probably got the more well-rounded game, but I mean, lots of goals from these two guys. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a fun end to the regular season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next one, we are potentially going to be giving away a t-shirt. If Chubbs can get 10 goals in the next 19 games, I think he can do it. Let me know how many points you think Sujimoto and Hiroyuki are going to end up with and also should we upgrade our defense at all but maybe wait actually hold on I had an idea I had an idea um, how's our AHL team doing? How's Gunther? He's not quite ready yet. The big kid, he's got 50 points in 60 games. I'm more interested in Chaika. So Chaika still not ready. Although he might be a better option than Nathan Beaulieu. Do we make the switch? Do we trade Beaulieu and call up Chaika? I don't know. You guys can let me know. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.